summer, Donna Capella was looking forward to packing up her life in Massachusetts and settling in Daytona Beach. She found a company within her budget that agreed to move her Ford Mustang the 1,200 miles for 600 bucks. Paid them a deposit um, via Venmo. It was $150. Signed a contract. And so when they delivered the, tr the car to Florida, I would just have to pay the balance um, to them when I received the vehicle. But on the day of pickup in Massachusetts, the transport truck didn't show up. When she called the movers, here's what they told her. That the driver, um, their truck carrier broke down and they were getting it repaired. But they were searching for another driver that could still pick up my car up that day. Later, I get another message saying, I, I looked around 25 different drivers. I did find one who's able to do the job today, but for a different price. And I said, what's the price? And it was $1,050. So I said, I can't pay that because we signed a contract. Because she was on a tight moving deadline, she was forced to find another company to ship her car at the last minute, essentially paying double what she had budgeted to ship her car. To this day, Donna still hasn't gotten the $150 deposit back from the original company she hired. So I tried to get it back for her. In more than a dozen phone calls, I was hung up on got sent to voicemail. Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for. And even told I was being transferred directly to the owner. Hi, who am I speaking with? This is Marlisa Goldsmith calling from Fox 35, the news station again. Um, calling to speak with the owner. I'm sorry, hello? Who are you transferring me to? Please hold while I try to connect you. There are different red flags that are really only going to be visible if you do your own homework. Holly Sammons of the Better Business Bureau of Central Florida gave us three things you can do to avoid falling victim in a situation like this. First, if you feel like you're being rushed into an agreement, pump the brakes. Ask for a little more time to make a decision because you want to make sure you get more than one quote for services. Secondly, Read that fine print. Look over your contract in its entirety. Before your vehicle is loaded, make sure you've clarified the price, drop-off date, and location. And lastly, know your rights. All things Donna wishes she thought twice about before making a decision to use the company she did. After the fact, I feel like I should have known better.